Welcome back, folks. We're, uh... Back where we left off at. Looks like we're a little bit hungry, and we don't have any food, if I remember correctly. So, we need to remedy that. To do so, we're gonna have to go inside this mall once more. At least for a moment. I do believe we might be able to find some stuff in here to eat. Even if it is uh, quite bad for us because the calories are going to be just insane but uh, as long as it's something we can eat we should be able to sustain ourselves for a moment all right perfect we should also come over to the water cooler and fill up our water bottle just to make sure we got that taken care of also why am i so heavy is it really just because of all the shotgun shells that seems odd. Okay. So the plan for today. We are going to go back into the gun store. I heard a zombie go rah for a second there. And while inside the gun store, we're going to just keep looting and see what we can find. Hey, a key. I'll take that. So, let's just look for a, a decent gun at the moment. How are my boots looking, actually? Are they okay? Yeah, they're pretty decent in terms of durability right now. So, it'd be cool if we could find, like, a, a good automatic rifle or something that we could use. I think that would be pretty fun. What about uh, the tents? Can I sleep in the tents? <gasps> I can. Excellent. Alright, so if we get tired <clears throat> and the... Uh, uh, area here is secure. We can just sleep in here if we need to. Excellent. All right, what do we got here? A uh, whole lot of nothing. I'll take shotgun shells if we find them, because, you know, I'll always take those. But just a bunch of rifles and nonsense, it looks like. Single fire mode. Another AK-47 magazine, which I will take that if we happen to come across an AK-47. Uh, however, it looks like we do not currently have one anywhere here. So, taking a magazine without a an actual gun would be kind of stupid, don't you think? What do we got here? Hunter magazines. We got that stuff. Another AK-47 thing. We got a carbine. I don't think that can be fired automatically. We do have some more shotgun shells that I'll grab here. And then just another carbine. Something tells me we're not going to find another, uh, or we're going to find a, an AK here. We do have the Tech-9, which... Um, is automatic, but I take that. It wouldn't do us too well, I don't think. Okay, and then that's all, yeah. That's all. Okay, well, oh, hold on, there was a that shotgun. I see a, another shotgun here too. Or am I just seeing imaginary things at this point? By the way, what does a, what does a gun cleaning kit do? I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, we got some more shotgun shells at least, and we can go out there and search some more um, up there. But first, let's go ahead and drop off the uh, shells we do have. So that we uh, aren't as heavy here. So many bodies. Okay. I keep forgetting to turn off this mod. Right, let's 
Out of smoke. Perfect. Let's head back in. See if we can find any more shotgun shells or uh, an automatic weapon of some kind. That would be great. Oh, wait, it's down here. I'm not gaining any uh, light-footed or sneak experience, so I don't think that we are getting any zombies nearby. Okay. So we weren't really able to search over this far, I don't think. Before, anyway. So let's do that now. I think this is all just going to be clothing, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, what about here? I don't think we'll be able to search these. More shotgun shells, I'll take them. Well, let's search these two here first, I guess. Those are both empty, okay. Come on, come around them. What about the last one down here? Alright, just more ammunition that we uh, can't quite use at the moment. I mean, we could use it if we went back and got a gun or something that uses it, but currently we do not need to use it, so... Alright, well unfortunately the mall didn't have the uh, quality of guns we were looking for. Go ahead and just deposit our ammunition here. Um, excuse me. Thank you. I guess I was just not uh, as close as I thought I was going to be. Okay. So for the final thing today, today being 10 o'clock at night, um... When we come in here, we'll do some burpees. And then we should be able to sleep. That'll fast forward time for us a little bit. And we can go ahead and eat some more of this. All right. Excellent. So, now that we're well rest rested, actually, before we head out there, I want to do one more check. So I had marked down another gun store up here, but I don't think that's like a military one. Isn't there a military base somewhere on the map? If it's not in Louisville, I don't really care. And don't answer that because I'm not going to see it by the time we're... We're done here. So, I think we'll just try to clear the mall, and that'll be kind of the last thing we do. So, get our shotgun at the ready. And we're just gonna go on out here. I like how the, the dresses are here, but... uh. It's military camo stuff. Okay. Oh. Remove the broken glass from this. Where are you going, dude? Can't really tell what's where. Oh, remove broken glass from some of that. Is this not glass then? I just climbed through. No, because that's telling me to climb through there. What is that? I guess over here I could try to climb through. Remove the broken glass first. Then I can climb through this. Okay. Maybe we've already killed all the zombies in the mall, huh? Do you think that's the case? We did kill a lot of them, but I don't think we've killed the ones further to the east. 
Nope, there's one over there. Hello, zombies. Alright. Let's lure them in with a few hello there's. We could actually use the uh, fenced area here to our advantage. We just kind of jump over it. We can give ourselves some time to wander through. I think I'll just kind of go around the fenced area and just kind of say hello there to everyone within earshot. It seems like the main open areas don't really have a whole bunch of zombies anymore. I think we mainly got most of them. I'm just gonna run down here quick. Food court. You know what? Maybe we've already uh, killed all the zombies here. If this is all that's left. I don't see anyone behind me here, so. Wait, do I not have to cock this gun? Oh my gods. If that is the case. I think I'm gonna get over this. Oh, what? There were zombies in here? But it's hard to see anything. that little opening there, but... Hmm. I was actually kind of expecting to go back into the mall and um, see a bunch of people, or zombies I guess, and have a, a huge epic fight after we got some more shotgun shells, but... It seems like the previous episode, we had pretty much cleared them all out, huh? No one's even coming down from the second level, huh? Oh, here we go. There's a couple of zombies over there. I keep waiting to hear the sound, but it does not come, and I'm like, oh shit, did I fuck something up? But no, it's literally just the gun does not need to be uh, pumped every time you fire it. I'm trying to attract some of them now, so that's that's good. I preferred if they all kind of got together rather than kind of coming in one or two at a time, you know. Really? I missed those three? Okay, here we go. There we got some billies coming. I didn't even see that one right there. Right, come on, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Kind of draw them around with one or two shots. Moving. Let's get that one down. Out of my way. One guy coming from over that direction, huh? Dang, we're just mowing them down now. Good golly, Miss Molly. Test 
something up there. Back over this way. <laughs> Just killing some zombies. All right, over the fence. This is how you kill zombies. Sound has to be like echoing like crazy off the walls around here. Mm. Okay. We're starting to just get stragglers again rather than proper hordes. Let's try to find another group somewhere. Seems heading down this long stretch would uh, probably be the ideal way. Since we have not been over here this way for our uh, luring escapades. I thought, well, I reload a couple of rounds. I got that guy. Well, ladder. Are we out of ammo? Oh, we're out of ammo. Well, hey, y'all, come on. Gather up while I uh, dip out for a moment go back to grab some uh, more ammunition from the van. Alright, we should be fairly safe out here. Well, I think we got a decent chunk of the uh, mall cleared out. Like, a really decent chunk. Um... Okay. Let's walk away from here real quick so I can open all these in peace. Will it just let me reload out of my, out of my backpack like that? Oh, quite easily? Sheesh, I might as well just take all the shells, put them in the backpack, and then just unload them here. Okay, that's a little overweight, though. Okay. Now we have 400 shells to use. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and eat a, another fourth of this oatmeal nonsense. And of oats, I guess. Man, imagine just, like, shoveling dry oats into your mouth. 
Like how disgusting that would be. How dry. So we are going to, uh, I'm just going to carry all of them with me because we do have a little bit of a trip chance at a 13% chance to trip. However, we'll be going through ammo before we have to like really run away from anyone. So I think we'll be fine. Watch me trip the very first thing I try to do when we just like get mauled by zombies. That's exactly how it would go. Well, the more we reload, the less we'll carry. And let's go ahead and take a smoke break. Uh, away from the zombie corpses, preferably, so we don't get queasy, you know. All right. Oi! You're going, huh? Let's charge back in. Can be more liberal with the uh, the shells now since we have so many. I think I just want to get past this uh, collection of bodies so we don't get queasy. Take some beta blockers while we're at it because while we're overweight i don't want to get even more of a reason to trip right I keep forgetting you can just hold down the trigger to fire it's really nice and it helps me actually fire a lot faster so Actually, check how many zombie kills we have. Okay, we're at 14, 52. Keep that number in mind because I will not remember it. I do keep in mind we've also killed like a a good number today already. So. I'm not gonna hold down the fire button anymore. I feel like it uh, isn't very helpful because I would like to realign my shots and see if I can get three or so zombies at once. Just like one or two, you know? Again, we gotta get away from these bodies. Yeah, yeah, ah, you too. Our back is safe since we are facing towards where zombies could come from. Oh. You're just by yourself? Not anymore. Now you can join your friends in Valhalla. It's crazy how easy the game becomes when you actually have a shotgun, good aiming and reloading skills. Isn't it? Like, I think we're fairly good on, on all that now, so... And a shotgun. If it was any other weapon, we would uh, not be doing too well. But just a shell-fed shot shell shotgun that you can just place, basically pump empty shells into. Oh, yeah. I think we're doing pretty well. I'm supposed to kill both of them with that shot. Okay, it looks like we've reached the end of the mall. Down here, anyway. Jumping down. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, from back there. Okay. Let's 
Oh, oh get juked, zombies. That one did not want to die. That one almost like right in front of the barrel. Honestly, I cannot believe that Jimothy Faraday. I got distracted. <laughs> Jimothy Faraday is the one of our characters who is uh, stomping around and killing all the zombies like this. The guy who I was like, screw it, I'll just name him something and not randomize him. Here we are. I think those things are getting in the way. Nothing else, we can just run outside, so. All right. It looks like we've gotten... Couldn't have killed both of them with one shot? Come on, man. What's this aiming skill even for? A lot of them are coming down from the uh, second floor. I'm gonna get closer so I can kill these two. Hopefully, in one shot. There we go. Hello, friends. Bye bye. Am I out of oats? I got one more thing left. Okay. My lady. All right. Well, luckily, we're not overweight anymore, so that's nice. Now we won't uh, have a tripping hazard. Let's collect some more of these zombies. Oh look, some people jumped down behind me. So you gotta be careful about them all, because there's just a, a second floor, but the middle here is open. There's no like floor above me right now, so they can just jump down from any side they want and uh, try to nom on me. And all it takes is a second of relaxation. Get my butt bit. Oh, speaking of, gotta reload. Straggler over there. A couple of them, actually. Gonna wait to kill that one. Mm. I was hoping his friend would catch up by then, but he didn't. Oh, got to reload. There's his friend. Hey, you wanna finish reloading? The whole, whole thing? That close to the escalators. Yep. We still have like 300 bullets left, by the way, or I guess shells left. Now let's go to this end of the mall. Looks like there's no doors or anything along this side, so this is all safe right here, relatively. Until a zombie starts to come through one of those windows. You the only one here, sir? My 
it. Oi! Anyone here? Is this the loading area? It is nice. Got anything cool back here? Huh? Hiding the goodies from me, are you? That was a garden saw, it looks like. A paint torch. Ooh, if we needed one of them. I can't believe that zombie maybe wastes two bullets on him. Oh, hey. There's some friends coming into the mall. Sorry, mall's closed for innovation. Get on out. Oh, yeah. Was that a live zombie? Hello, friends. And goodbye. Does this lead to restrooms? Yep. We really need to check them. All right, let's run back up this way then. We can kind of loop back to the beginning area we started in, I guess. Hello, anyone here? Anyone want to hold hands, sing Kumbaya? While I shove the shotgun down your throat and kill you? wait for a minute or so here. Alright. Just you? You're the only one that my call lured? How about that call? Huh? Any of your friends want to come now? I like how it's like pristine floor dead zombie compared to the other sides that are like all dead zombie everywhere. Furniture store. I was about to shoot that fucking mannequin. Was that everyone? Oh, here's one. Hey, lady. Oh, it looks like we got a couple in the food court. Ooh, we got a couple in the food court. We do, we do, we do. Hello, new friends. Should I say target practice? See another one back here, but he must have wandered off. Oi! Where did you go, sir? Oh, it seems the sounds of the dying have lured in some more. Oh, quite a few more. Quite a few more. We're going to run back over here so we can be sure to get to an area that is, is more secure for our backsides to be in. Oh, my God. Where were they hiding all these guys? A lot of zombies still. This is a good shotgun. I like it. Check the back. We're good. Kill that strike. Reload. Oh, look, I don't know. Someone must be hiding in the back of a shop or something. Oh, look, the police decided to show up finally. Man, how crazy this would be if this was all just a delusion and Jimothy was actually, like, a mall shooter right now. <laughs> and all these people are just people trying to, like, run away or stop him. It's really dark. Like, what's more plausible, right? A zombie outbreak or some guy off his, off his meds, right? Think about it. 
about it. It's pretty fucked up shit. I haven't seen a single other live person, right? Makes you think. That was a nice little change of pace from clearing out like 10 zombies at a time here. Dang, look at them all. Just some good work up in here, clearing out the undead hordes. If any other survivors want to like move into the mall or loot it, they can. Man, seeing that play place in one of the restaurants back there reminded me of like the the old play pits and stuff that they had in the 90s with all the like slides and the ball pits and stuff like that. If I ever get rich, I'm gonna have like a room dedicated to being a ball pit, right? It's gonna be cool. Of course, we'll have to do some special things with it make sure that it's not just going to get overran by insects and the like, right? Like maybe some uh, hermetically sealed doors, some uh, real good uh, air vents that you no know, bugs and insects and stuff can't get in through, and just fill like an entire normal-sized room just full of those plastic little balls. Or maybe even, like, some squishy, like, interesting foam balls or something? I don't know. Whatever you can get for a decent price, I suppose, right? Oh, hey. There was a zombie just chilling up here. None of that. Boy. Sir. No solicitors. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think the mall is getting pretty clear now. The uh, ooh, only real places we have left are just the second floor. I don't think there's gonna be any problem with the roof. Um, in fact, let's go to the front rather than the back alleys because people are gonna be here. Hey, sir, stop that. I'm almost trying to run away. Is this a jewelry store? Looks like it. Yep. Well, while we search for more zombies, why not have a smoke? a little uh, bit of food too if I stop into this store right here. This is an appliance store that also sells okay I was about to say it also sells food because that's what it looks like on the shelves is food. But no it's just a hardware store. Okay. Well that's the end of this road. Road but you know, you know what I mean. Honestly, I think we actually cleared them all. Hmm. No, this food court probably has some food in it, but it's probably all rotten. Oh, is this one of those, like, sushi conveyor places? That's nice. Yeah, eggs, rotten, sushi, 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 sushi. Rotten. Oh, nice, we got a little uh, office here, too. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the zombies are dead. Because honestly, if they did not come down and hear me before, why would they uh, see me now? If they weren't hearing the shotgun blasts ripping through the, the, the mall, I say the walls of the mall for some reason, but it wasn't. I guess this would be a technology store, yeah? Yeah. Lamps. Ooh. We could get some lamps and set them up at home or something. But that would just eat into our generator life, so why would I do that? What's this? Food, painkillers? Ooh, medical supplies. If we needed those, that would be really great. What here has the least amount of, like, probably the dried meat stick has the least amount of calories? And same with these sunflower seeds. How much do these actually give? Five hunger? I'll hold on to them. Maybe I'll eat them later. I don't know. We'll see. Bunch of rotten stuff. Oh, this must be a pharmacy is what it is. Okay. That makes sense. Lipstick and hairspray, yeah. Checks out. Alrighty dighty. I, it, it's it's almost surprising that we managed to come away from this with basically everything intact. We didn't get like bit once. We had a couple of close calls. And I mean, you could argue that, hey, actually we did uh, get fucked once when we were trying to get into the uh, hunting store here. Let me back in. Like, you could argue, yeah, like, the first time we opened up the hunting... No, it wasn't even the hunting store, it was, uh... The other one. Let's sleep real quick, though. I'm so used to sleep being at the top and not, like, down there. Odd. Now it's night... Alright, anyway. Yeah, the, the first time we came in through here, remember we... Tried to go into here, and then we like opened the door, and instead of our guy running this way like I told him to, he ran, um, for whatever reason, into here, got stuck here. This is actually my body, I'm pretty sure. Um, before we like respawned ourselves, but uh, yeah, remember we kind of like for some reason ran into that corner because all we did was we opened the door here, right. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to hit W and D to run away. And then I tried to run away, but for some reason I ran into the room? It was, it was dumb. Anyway. I guess that's clear in the mall, ladies and gentlemen. So. What to do from here? Well. I mean, we're pretty much well geared up. And there's not much that can stop us at this point. We could just go around killing zombies, clearing out the town, but that would just be kind of tedious and we would have to just, you know, take breaks for food and whatnot. There's no real threat to us, you know, dying unless we go into a building and get nommed on because we messed up on a door somewhere somehow like we did in the mall. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. We might as well check out this one gun store over here. Just to see if we can find an AK. I just want to see if I can get one and shoot it. That's really all. Let me open the map here. We just keep going down this road. We should eventually see it once we get to the industrial area, basically. So I think we're going to be nearing, or I guess this will be the final episode of Surviving Louisville. Um, we, I think we've survived. It may have taken us a lot of lives, but I think we survived. We uh, came here, just a noob, not really sure how to do anything, just a guy trying his best to 
you know, survive in the zombie apocalypse. We came out with a, a guy who has uh, almost 2,000 zombie kills. You know, and I you know, feel like that's that's worth something, right? Again, though, the, the zombie total population wasn't too high. And we did tweak some settings to make them easier for us. I think next time, now that I have a better idea of what to do, what I'm looking for, and how to play, we'll do something a little bit more challenging. You know? We'll see if we can actually survive a bit better. I have an idea, and let me tell you about this idea while we go to the gun store here. I think we're going to do a kind of homeless gameplay, where we don't have a, a home set or like a place to stay at, right? And so our whole thing, we're going to start once again on day one of the apocalypse, right? Right when it starts. So we're going to have a few zombies here and there while we start getting established, you know? And slowly it's going to erupt. And I want there to be pretty much as many zombies as we can, like, get. We'll try to max that thing out. And we'll make the horde sizes huge and all that good jazz. Just to really make it so we uh, are definitely going to die at some point, right? None of this, oh yeah, we're going to be able to survive like months with the same character just because we do stuff, right? But, uh. What, what am I stuck on? What? Like, I just stopped going forward. Wouldn't it be funny if that's how I died? I just, all of a sudden, forward momentum just stopped into the end, and I was like, okay. Where are we at now? Okay. But yeah, anyway, the goal is we're going to be like, I don't know, maybe we'll choose an occupation like thief or burglar or something, right? And uh, we'll use that information to like break into houses, to cars, steal stuff. It's gonna be like a vagrant, go from house to house, searching for loot, try and get, you know, a gun to protect ourselves, and that kind of stuff, while you know, never staying in the same place for more than, you know, a night or two, at most. And slowly but surely, the amount of zombies will ramp up. I think it's the car. Where you want to go into? Yep. The amount of zombies will ramp up, and we'll have to do our best to, you know, survive in that sort of environment. I'm just gonna park the van. We're gonna get out. I know the headlights are still on. Oh, aiming leveled up. Nice! But yeah, so we'll do a little more hardcore of the of the game mode that time, where we have to be a little more stealthy. We can't just run through like hallways with a crowbar bashing zombie brains. So we can do a little bit here and there, but our, uh, our rule of thumb is going to be if it's five or more, we run away. Or like try to use some sort of strat to kill them instead of the strat that we were using when we first started this playthrough. I guess not the playthrough, but this uh, survival here where we were like, oh yeah, I'm just going to take on this huge horde of like 20 and just slowly back up and like, try to whittle away at them, right? But that tactic did not work. Even using the fence strats didn't really work too well for us there. So, yeah. It should prove interesting if nothing else. We'll have to kind of pick our battles in deciding where we're going to go what we're gonna do. Honestly, I'm just trying to turn off the light of my van right now. That's all I wanna do, I just wanna turn off the lights before the battery runs out, come on guys. I think I have time to do it now. There we go. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay. So I think we are secure now after we killed how many more zombies? Because we were at like 18 before, right? Okay. We killed uh, a few dozen. Anyway, map open. We should be right down here. So the next gun store we're going to hit up real quick. If we need to, we have a sledgehammer, so we can just tear some stuff down, but... Yeah, we shouldn't have to, though. Bottom door. Got him. All right. Can I sleep in here real quick? No. I do not like being out on the, uh... Or inside when it's that dark. It's just not a good vibe, you know. We'll wait until morning. Killing some zombies as we wait. Plenty of shells for it. This isn't a huge area like the mall. We're near the industrial area, so there shouldn't be too many zombies to work about, right? Oh boy. I wonder, do you suppose this uh, ambulance has its keys in it? Or they're on the ground somewhere nearby? I suppose we can uh, try to hotwire it too. Get a little closer so I can shoot you guys better. So we got some guys up here now. Not for long, though. Yep. Oh, hello there. Alright. Try this again. In the van. In, 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 the, in the ambulance. It's keys or electrical, yada yada, yada hot wire. Put that. I have electrical one, don't I? I have electrical one. Do I need electrical one and mechanics to do that? I just needed one or the other. Hmm. Let me try to reread that. Yeah, electrical one and mechanics too. Lame. Suppose we could at least break the window. The door was unlocked. Why did I break the window? Oh god, I'm done sometimes, aren't I? Check the glove box. Nope, nothing. Oh, hold on. Was the uh, trunk unlocked? It is. Weird, why would they have the trunk unlocked? Trauma bag. Well, it looks like all the, the live zombies around me. We are getting pretty hungry. 
Uh, I guess we have these sunflower seeds still that we can just eat real quick. How are you going to eat like half of a sunflower seed? All right. Let's see if enough time has passed for me to be able to sleep. Go back and rest, I guess. We're just going to sit and pass some time until it gets to be a little bit brighter in here. Maybe till five or something. It's still not that bright, but that's fine. It's not like I, I wanted to be bright in here or anything. All right, so let's just see if we can find any uh, AK-47s or an MP5. Huh. That is interesting. I'll take that. If nothing else, we can fire that off a little bit. There's medical gear in here. Ooh, an M16 assault rifle. That's neat. We have M16 magazines, though. All right, let's add it to the bag for now. So we need uh, M16 magazines or uh, MP5 magazines. Otherwise, we're going to be like loading them one at a time. U.S. Army, I thought it was a helmet. Here's a military helmet, though. Nice. All right, let's see. It'd also be cool if we could find some uh, food here, maybe? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, perhaps, for me. I think this is all just going to be, like, clothing and tent stuff, unfortunately. I'm assuming this goes outside. Goes to the back room. Okay, we're not going to look there yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, it looks like this might be a place that has food. No, just, just some boots. Okay. Hold on, there's some vending machines outside. Pop, huh? Okay, you know what? We'll just drink some. That's fine. Um, do another drink. At this point, we don't care about, you know, weight at the moment. Because we're, we're down to like 83, right? So it, it's fine. What's the worst that can happen? Again, if we could just find some, you know, magazines for the, the guns that we, uh, we have. Imagine you're at a store that sells guns, right? But they do not sell the magazine to go into the gun, right? They're just like, ah, oh, you'll figure it out. Also, these shelves. Wasn't expecting that. I got some hiking bags here. Duffel bag, a military backpack. I hear this is actually the uh, the best backpack. Take all this stuff and put it in the military one that has a way better uh, encumbrance modifier thing, whatever the hell it is. Let's search back here. Uh, again, not what we're looking for. Walkie talkie. Nope. 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 What about these two that are kind of stacked up together? Nope. Really, y'all ain't gonna have a 
M16 or MP5 magazine. Survive that shot. Yeah, what you guys got in here? Canned foods. Screw it, let's open some canned chili. Yeah, yeah. Knock it off, zombies. Oh, that's where they were. It's not great. They could have came behind them. We'll just go ahead and close this door then. Oh, well, he survived that shot. Whatever. Anyway. Oh, by the way, lady, do you have a key on you? No. Oh shit. Can I open this? No. Well, shit. Is it time for the sledgehammer to come out? What about this zombie? Do they have a key? No. What, uh... What ammo do these take? 9 mil and 7.62, I would guess. We have any of that around here? Or five five six? Or the uh other one? <laughs> Out of the way. Maybe I'll have to go grab my, uh, sledgehammer after all. Darn it, that thing's heavy. I don't like it. Don't mind me. Pass it on through. Come here, sledgehammer. Actually, we gotta equip it, so let's go. All right. Come on in, and we're gonna destroy the place. So, what do you think is gonna be easiest to destroy? This, maybe? What do you mean, jump scare? Where the fuck was it at? Oh, right there. Hello there, buddy. I'm just gonna destroy this wall then. Okay. And what was this? This thing here? Nothing? I can just destroy that too then? Okay. Alright. Re equip our shotgun then. Put the sledgehammer back in the uh, thingy thang there. All right, what we got back here? AK mag, mini mag, eagle mag, uh, nine millimeter rounds. Seven six twos. I don't remember what the M16 takes, unfortunately. More nine mil. But again, no, like, No magazines for the, uh, the guns that I have currently, huh? Taking the ammunition that I think I need. 
Oh, what about these things? Uh, M9. Nothing. 9 mil. Hey, you zombies, can you just, like, fuck off for, like, a second or two? Oh, that looks like a survivor zombie. That's gonna be an interesting look. Um... I thought I saw an FAL. FAL magazine. There's an FAL in the game with that? Got some more 9 mil, though. What was the uh, last one here? 9 mil. Hmm. Can y'all just stop trying to find guns and ammo here? Ooh, a car assault rifle. Oh, there we go. M16 mag. Let's take it. We got back here. Let's hammer it. That's that startled me. <clears throat> IRL. Okay, nothing in these. What about back here? AK forty seven magazine. Okay. What about this little room here? Can't open it. Great. If I destroy it real quick. Yep. I'm going to care less about the ammunition, more about anything else. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of here for now. We can look over the, uh, the guns and stuff we got after that. Okay, so sledgehammer in the backpack. Let's go ahead and take out the uh, M16, which uses 5mm rounds. Okay, perfect. We'll take those out. We can then drop all the 7.62 ammunition we have here. Take out the 5.56 rounds. Drop those. Unbox all of these. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the M16 here. Reload. I have to find some zombies to use this on, though. God dang, bruh. Go ahead and load this one too, then. I think you should get a reloading experience for every bullet, to be honest. Okay. That magazine's filled. We could, I suppose, try to use the MP5, but we would have to reload the single magazine that's inside of it. Which would be kind of a hassle. But anyway, back to our lovely thing here where we can store that. There we go. Much lighter now. Oof. Love to see. All right. Um, I guess we can just get into the van and then just drive around until we find a zombie. Small little board. Oh, we were also going to take a look at the survivor zombie in there, but whatever, it's too late. It don't matter. We're already moving on out. There we go, there's some zombies. Ooh, I was about to go straight because I thought it was the road. Alright, let's test this baby out. Wait, did it jam or something? Is that what that was? What is happening? It was jammed. I 
fired like what five bullets and it jammed. And it jammed again. Wow, this gun. Garbage. Maybe because it's bad quality, but I don't know, man. Okay, we're out, so let's go ahead and just reload the magazine. For the next one. Here we go. Jam, so we gotta unjam it again. Yeah, this is not a great weapon. Jammed again. Yeah, this gun seems great if you wanna. Didn't I just unjam it? Maybe I sprinted too quick. Okay, now you're just fucking with me, aren't you? That unjammed it, right? I fired one bullet, my guy. Okay, you know what? That's just going on the ground where it fucking belongs. Yep. All this 556 five, can get on the ground too. I don't know shit. Look at this, just like shit all those bullets. Okay. Oh my god, I don't have a little left in it. Hold on. Please hold for democracy. Alright, now that's how a gun should fire and kill zombies, right? Let's go run back through these guys, gather them all up. Oh, oh, you almost had me. I might have got to be quicker than that. My guy is horrified, which I don't know how. I'm supposed to be getting desensitized to all this, but. Are we starting to jam now? Is that how this is gonna go, huh? We still have such good quality on the weapon. Maybe the uh, M16 was just jamming because that's literally just how bad the condition was on it. That's probably more realistic than the gun just jamming all the time on purpose, right? zombies. You gotta try quicker than that to get me. Something tells me these zombies aren't gonna be able to do anything. Do but can you just mess around? Get away from me for a second here.
I feel like it's taking more shots to kill zombies nowadays. Granted, I am moving while I am shooting, but just lowering the accuracy a little bit. Still. Do I have the MC MP? I do. Okay, cool. Let's equip that. Let's give that a shot. See if it's worth anything. I still have these, which we're gonna have to run for a moment. We have to do this. There we go, because we can't apparently uh, unload boxes of shells while we are walking for some reason, but we can reload our, our magazine while we're walking for, you know, whatever reason. Okay, yeah, but you're almost done. Thank you. Back to the shotgun. Everything else just kind of feels a little over underwhelming once you have the shotgun and, you know. Alright, reload. We're down to 40 shells. Hey, reloading leveled up. Nice. Reload even faster now. Down to 35 shells. Oh fuck, we jammed. Uh, unjam. I thought we just needed to reload because I stopped firing. Man, so if the guns aren't perfect quality, they just start to, to jam up right away, huh? Why are there so many just, like, on the ground laying there? The damage doesn't go down when I... Oh. Damage looks to be about the same. Let's go uh, down this way. Alright. Alright. Last five bullets. Here we go. Give a hash, hash the sky and last one. It did nothing. All right, time to go out in the blaze of glory. Oh, Jimothy Faraday, after using up all of his shotgun shells, tried to fend off the horde with a baseball bat like an idiot instead of running away and collecting more ammunition instead. And thus. He actually managed to take a couple with him, it looks like. He was just that damn good. Of course, all it would take is just one zombie to come up behind him right now and just munch on his face, and he would lose everything. Yeah, so in the, uh, the next uh, thing we start with our new character after this, well, we won't be doing this, for example. We will uh, specifically be only doing this if there's five or less. If there's six or more, we're going to run away, not do this. Even if there is five or less, we might still not do this, depending on where we're at and stuff.
tired. Uh oh. And exhausted. There goes all our damage. Is that the edge of the map? Oh no. What happens when I hit it? Oh no, it's not the edge of the map. It's just a dark area for some reason. Timothy Faraday's baseball bat broke, and thus he was forced to resort to using his hammer. That has only been used to strike nails before. Actually, that's not, that's not true. He has used it to kill zombies in the ammunition store back in the mall. Honestly, I am surprised. I have been able to uh, keep this up as long as I have. Nimble really makes a difference. If I did not have my uh, my nimble to the level it is, I would just be like zombie food now. Especially since I'm tired and exhausted. Honestly, I'm trying not to like survive, but at this rate I might. Like I said, a zombie needs to come up behind me and get me. I'm trying to die here. Oh, for real. So if we die, we can end. See how many kills we ended up with. And then, uh... About the next video. But seriously, the zombies just can't touch me. Can't touch this. Because we're gonna have to get, like, uber exhausted. To the point we cannot swing our hammer. And not walk properly. Before we let it slow down here. Y'all ever have like an itch when you're trying to do something like this and like you know you have to itch, but if you do you're gonna die and it's not gonna be cool. Okay, is that a, another wall or is that just darkness that I've not touched yet? It's just darkness I haven't touched yet. Uncharted territory now. I guess the thing that's northernmost would be the uh, the river anyway. So if the uh, river's not here, we should be fine. Oh man, we could have got our back attacked by those guys, but they just didn't come quick enough. How dare they? Honestly, I am surprised. I'm just holding down the right mouse button and the left mouse button and just backing up by holding A. And, uh, that's like everything I'm doing right now. Occasionally, I'm pressing a different direction key to, like, move in a different direction, but... God, I have to itch my head right now. I just... I guess I could, like, lean down and, like, use my thumb. Like some sort of barbarian. Hey, another one died. I suppose we can kill all these guys before we, uh, die. It's gonna take a long time because of just how much... Crap, crap, crap. Eh, eh. My phone alarm is going off. I set one for every two hours so I can get up and stretch. And, uh, I had to turn it off. Actually, we might die of hunger before we die of exhaustion or anything else. You really think about it. Oh, oh, did I get me back? I looked down to itch my head. <laughs> I didn't even get to witness how we died. Well, we managed to kill 2,000 zombies with three days. Well, actually, it was longer than that because technically we survived longer, but because we had that mishap in the mall, it shortened the days there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and quit to the main menu, because we're not going to be using this save again, because the zombies are already, you know, dead. But when we come next time, I will show you all our new stats and character, show you the new rules we're going to be using, and uh, after that we'll start our vagrant life of trying to survive while not staying in one place. Until then, bye for now.